Well, hello there, everybody. It's me, Emily, the girl with Coffin Sarah Syndrome. What is a legacy? Will you find it in words? Well, I am not rich, but I'm rich in love. Maybe a legacy lives on in the lives you touch. I think you are always an angel. Goodbye, my sweet friend. As condolences pour in, the family of Emily Locke is starting to mark them here. They represent a family uh, that Emily has been taken care of. She was so many things to so many people. It was like she was just out there in the world, touching people, impacting people. One person said, you know, we have our walls up and Emily would just climb over and say, hi, I'm Emily, let's play. Let's this is the day she, her foster family brought her to us. Cindy and Lenny Locke adopted her when she was a toddler. Emily made friends easily and connected with people around the world. She worked at QFC for the last 10 years. She was a photographer and an artist and had become a sort of ambassador for coffin serous syndrome, the rare genetic disorder that she never let hold her back. Social media helped families connect with Emily when they got a diagnosis that sometimes sounded hopeless. She was our like our beacon of light in our dark fog that uh, that pulled us led us out of the darkness, realizing our child mattered, had purpose, had value. It all took a sad turn a few weeks ago. Emily was on her way home when she was hit by a car. She was in the walkway, the lights were flashing, the car had, another car had stopped. Everything was, Emily was doing everything right. To add to the sting of their sadness, the family learned they can't even get funeral expenses from the driver. Uh, finding out that the wrongful death does not apply in Washington to us because she has no dependents. It's like, but she was valuable. And yeah. they now struggle balancing the grief, frustration, and just plain missing her. There should be something where they, they have, they as a person are held a little bit responsible for this. I mean, I don't want them to. I don't want vengeance. I don't want the family was able to donate some of her organs. It's exactly what she would have wanted. Her her message, I think, of of, of including everybody um, and she's a big connector of people. And just that just that legacy of hers is just to I don't know love people, connect people. I, and there's something bigger than ourselves. I think that's going on. I'm I'm still in the process of trying to figure that out. But there's one message that comes up over and over and we'll let Emily say it herself. Just try to love people today.